Indiana's Republican U.S. Senators split on a vote to move forward the Respect for Marriage Act. We learned in just less than an hour ago that one voted for, the other voted against. So this is the bill that would protect LGBTQ plus and interracial couples' marriages. Sierra Putman is live in the newsroom tonight. Sierra, this is just one step, the, the push, just one step further in the push to get it passed before a new Congress is sworn in on January, right? That's right, and that is because the balance of power is expected to change. Today was only a test vote, a move that will allow the Senate to debate the issue with the plan that the bill has taken up by both chambers before the newly elected lawmakers take over. Indiana's two senators split on the issue. Senator Todd Young, who just won re-election, voted yes to debate the bill that would codify both same-sex and interracial marriage. However, Senator Mike Braun voted no. You may remember Braun made comments back in March about leaving issues like this up to the states. The conversation started out about the support of the Supreme Court overturning Roe and allowing states to make their own abortion rules. So you would be okay with the Supreme Court leaving the question of interracial marriage to the states? Yes, I think that that's something that uh, if you're not wanting the Supreme Court to weigh in on issues like that, uh, you're not going to be able to have your cake and eat it too. I think that's hypocritical. After that March interview, Senator Braun later walked back those comments, stating, quote, I understood, misunderstood a line of questioning that ended up being about interracial marriage. There is no question the Constitution prohibits discrimination of any kind. We have more of that conversation online. Democrats are trying to move this legislation through because after overturning Roe, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas wrote an opinion saying he thought the court should also reconsider a case involving same-sex marriage. It's